Someone had asked me what I thought about Kosei Tanaka. I probably did see him fight, maybe on Inoue's undercard. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing this fight, but they suggested I take a look, so... If you've never seen it yourself, well, that's just like me, I guess. Shit, who's who? I don't even know, man. Okay, red corner. I'm going to assume it's the guy that looks better right now. The guy in green shorts. Good movement. Um... Got caught a little bit there, but you know, that's the deal with a lot of Japanese fighters, not the stereotype or anything, but these guys come to fight, they throw punches, they throw a lot of punches, and they get caught. See, what I appreciate about, well, this guy and other fighters that do this when, ooh, that was pretty good, when he gets close and he doesn't want to work he doesn't hold right he gives the other guy he, he's not breaking the rules of boxing basically right he's a pure boxer that was a nice combination uppercut jab a few jabs right hand left hook right hand he seems to have good speed varies the power on his punches a lot of these Japanese guys, from what I've seen, fight tend to fight some kind of puncher style, a, a variation of the puncher. Or they, I mean, you know, you could say all boxers punch, right? Yeah, true. But what I notice about Japanese guys, and I'm going to assume this is Tanaka, and I am seeing that in, in that guy anyway is they like to punch they like to commit to their punches they you know they understand the game they want to win that's what i that's how i interpret it right people who punch punchers people who try to put hurt on the opponent right knock them out They want the victory, right? They want to take it instead of... I mean, you know, if, if you give it to them, obviously they're not going to argue with the W. But to me, it looks like they have the desire to take the victory. You know what I mean? They really want to win. They want to take, take it into their, their hands. And I appreciate that. Is that Tanaka? Yeah. Red corner. Um, I don't know. First impressions. He's light on his feet. But, you know. He's a flyweight. He's light, light on his feet. He's got fast feet. He's got pretty good hands. He looks well schooled. I don't know what he's, what he's doing over there. Coming to the inside, closing the distance, and not throwing punches. I don't. I don't understand what's that about. It. It's like he's trying to take a breather. Maybe he's. Maybe he wants the other guy to punch himself out a little bit, and he's looking for countering up opportunities. You know, come to think of it, it's a nice little, nice little tactic if, if you could implement it successfully. Yeah, he's trying, he's trying to counter and looking for openings. He wants his opponent to open up, basically. So him coming inside like that and not throwing any punches is, I would say, similar to some fighters dropping their hands, right? Or Mayweather leaning in so he could pull back and counter, right? Giving you a target. Hoping that you take advantage of the opportunity. Um, 
and it, and it makes sense to do that because you're in control, right? You're you have some kind of control, even though you're not attacking. Uh, it helps you control the action, at, at least in this case. You know, maybe I should have watched this fight before I started, uh, before I made this video, but that's just the thing. I don't have all this time to watch all these fights, which is why I hadn't seen it in the first place. Um, but just first impressions and, and the little bit of information going off that very, very tiny bit of information that I've gotten so far. Um, I'm not impressed. Like, obviously I gotta see what else he has. But, you know, I, I get it, it's the lighter weights and they tend to throw more punches. But I'd like to see him pick his shots better and throw fewer punches with better forethought and planning maybe right like that but this is who he is this is how he likes to fight and a lot of fighters fight this way so that's cool you know it, he has this high intensity uh, good work weight work rate style but you know see like all those punches he threw in that instance you got to put energy into every one of those or and if you do that you just you can't punch with as much power you know if you were to take some of those punches and just tap 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 loma style and then sit on you know one or two here and there uh, i think it might be more effective but and he does do a little bit of that but a lot of his punches are thrown with like intent to hurt you, to do damage, and I don't know. I don't think it's um, the wisest thing to do. It's nice to have that in your arsenal, but if that's how you fight primarily, right? Oh man, his... And that's another thing, when you're constantly opening up, constantly throwing, you're liable to get hit, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's some other fights I could I could look at, but and I I understand I'm not giving like this guy a fair chance perhaps, but I don't know. I'm just selective with what kind of boxing I watch. Just don't have the time. And Kosei Tanaka for me. Mm, Yeah. I, I I can't see the pound for pound here at all. Uh, I'm not... When I do pound for pound, and maybe I should do a pound for pound list. But... When I look at and try to judge the quality of a fighter, I don't really care about records. Or what they've achieved. And at first glance, no offense to anybody, like, you know, he, I'm sure he's a very good, he is a good fighter, I could tell, I don't know how good, I can't really honestly judge him, but um, for me, like, no offense to anyone, but he's kind of boring, to me he's a boring fighter, right, and I know that sounds crazy to some people because he throws so many punches and stuff, but yeah, maybe I'm just too slow and I can't keep up with what he's really doing in there, you know, his technique and, and how he's setting the guy up, planning stuff, you know, maybe maybe he's just too fast for me to catch on to what he's doing in there, but to me, it's just not that interesting, that's all I'm saying. Chocolatito, on the other hand, right, like, Throws a ton of punches. But I mean... Yeah. 
that guy's just amazing and fun, fun to watch. This guy, for some reason, for me, not so much, but, you know, all the best to him. And, and you know, if he gets into some big fights, you know, I'll be, I'll be into all that. But, yeah, I wouldn't watch anyone like Kosei Tanaka. Not because, you know, he's a bad fighter or anything, but I just don't have the time. And that's just my honest opinion about the guy. Um, I don't see pound for pound. But, you know, I, I understand this fight took place a while ago. Um, so maybe he's gotten better. But, yeah. Pound for pound, I don't see it. No offense to anyone. I'm just being honest. Thank you for watching.